Hey, good morning guys. Today I thought we'd do some studio vlogging. I actually received some parcels from my uh, printer as well as my t-shirt printer. So we have some new arrivals here in the office and I thought I'd open some boxes with you and let you know what's in, what's going to be available in Glasgow uh, Comic Con, MCM Glasgow in uh, just a couple of weeks some new prints, some new t-shirts, as well as some Pink Club exclusives. So let's have a look, shall we? First things first, we have backing cards for Pink Club. I redid the backing card a little bit. The front is the same and shows the Pink Club exclusive title as well as uh, the hashtag but I did change some details on the back of the card to reflect the website first now that I'm not using my Store Envy store a lot anymore. They are made from uh, premium paper 350 GSM and uh, they have a nice velvet laminated finish to give an even more solid backing to your pins and round corner edges are a cute little touch they always send me these which i don't pay for and i don't really need they are card holders which unfortunately due to their thickness they only hold probably less than 10 of these cards and i have no use for them i honestly have countless of these probably like 30 of them in a cupboard so no, if you need a card holder let me know <laughs> this is a new postcard i created for MCM Glasgow for those of you not familiar with the character this is Spinel from the new Steven Universe movie and one of my Facebook followers got to my attention how much the design looked identical to the classical Mickey Mouse so I created a design based on the classic Mickey Pose illustrating Spinel. And that's a second batch of that same postcard. These are more postcards here with this design. This is a Halloween piece and it will be the postcard given to Pink Club members this month. In this piece you can see all the classic villains from horror and slasher movies. From, from Freddy to Jason to the girl from the ring, Pennywise Mike Myers, Chucky, the Saw doll, that little creepy voodoo doll from the, that TV movie whose name I always forget, and all the major classics. This will be given as a postcard to all my Pink Club members who sign up for the November pack, as well as a large print version of it will be given to those who sign up for the higher ranked tier. Those who sign up for the highest tier will receive an A4 version, larger version of the print, and it will be signed by myself, as well as receive this on a t-shirt, which will you will see later on in the video. We have an A4 sized version of the Spinel artwork as well.
print also comes in 350 GSM premium paper. Poster sized version of our horror Halloween print. There you are. It gives you a size comparison of how big the print is, which is at A3 size. And you can see the detail a lot better on this one. That's it from my printer side. Let's have a better look at each item and then check out our t-shirts. Here is a better look at the poster. I really love how the detailing came out, especially in these three characters. This was the first one I did out of all of them and then worked my way around the bigger characters. Started with Freddy, moved on to Jason, then did these two. I remember doing this last and the background last because I wanted a good way to tie it all in and I think it set quite a nice atmosphere in the end as well. This is the print that will be sent out with the t-shirt parcel of this month for my club and the postcard that will be sent out to the lower tiers and this will be available at the convention in Glasgow. These are the two spinel prints really love how the colors came out they're nice and vibrant here's a closer look at the backing cards and what i forgot to show you earlier are these other backing cards that have arrived they are nekomon backing cards but finally managed to get the trim properly and centered how I wanted it. They come with a bit of a ribbed outline, just like enamel pins, because I wanted to give it like a, an effect that the card is made out of pins as well. And obviously comes with detailing in the back with all my contact information and these are going to be used for the restock of Nekomon pins that I just received earlier this month. All right, with the prints opened, it's time to open a box of t-shirts and see what we have inside. There we go, the shirts came a little bit jumbled, so we need to organize them. This is a Tough Tunes shirt that was ordered, so we can send it out as soon as possible. These are Spinel shirts. Let's open one, shall we? comes in a lovely color. The color did turn out fantastic. I am certainly not disappointed. It's vibrant. It captures the character and how I wanted it properly. The outline is not black. It's a little bit purplish, so it blends in even better with the garment. And I'm overall quite happy with how it turned out. Actually, I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. Hopefully, you will enjoy it as well. This is a new addition. We have Neptune and Uranus in this 
Steven Universe Ruby and Sapphire inspired moment. This was originally made as a pin for my pin club for Valentine's Day this year and I thought I would turn it into a shirt as well. I played around with the colors a little bit. I made the print as large as I could on top of the shirt and I think it is really really pretty and really lovely. I am so happy with how this turned out. The colors blend so well with the purple and the feel of the fabric is so soft. Very happy with this one. We also have another new design from the same collection and this is also a ruby and sapphire inspired scene but this time with Endymion and Princess Serenity and it shows a romantic moment where he is possibly proposing to Princess Serenity. I quite liked how it turned out as well. It seems that my printer made a tiny mistake and sent me one version of this t-shirt in small on a pink garment. I also made a small batch of my one heart design on t-shirt. If you have visited me at a convention you might have seen this on a mug. I've made this into a mug prior and now I am printing it on a shirt and it is inspired by all the previous activists in the LGBTIQ community who have given their lives or lost their lives in the battle for equality. In fact, the heart is beating and bleeding rainbow and is surrounded by forget-me-not flowers. This design is very dear to my heart, so I really hope people will enjoy it. We have our Halloween design. It is printed on a black garment, of course, and the detailing turned out so good. Oh my goodness. Look at how crisp those characters are. Wow. I am I am actually immensely immensely proud and surprised in the best way possible of how well and crisp these details came out. That is so good. Jason right there. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. I mean, look at how much detail I have in the Gremlin and it came out so good. That is it. Let's have one more final close-up look of the designs and that will be all for today.
that is all the previews I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed both the prints and the t-shirts. If you liked this video and would like to see more updates from me, please like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. If you liked any of the t-shirts, you can find them available on my website, link of which is down in the description box below. And for those interested in the club, you have until the end of the month to sign up and get your t-shirt and signed print as well as the two enamel pins that come with it. That's it from me for today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and uh, take care of yourself. Bye!